Verify the patient's identity. Ask the patient for his or her name and check the armband. Look on the wall above the bed or in the patient's notes to confirm their identity. Inform the patient of your intentions and explain the procedure. Always obtain verbal consent. Roll up your sleeves and de-germ your hands. Open the sterile blood culture pack onto the trolley once you have done this. Remove the sterile sheet, touching only the exposed corners, and place this under the patient's arm. Ask the patient to move his own arm, otherwise find someone to help move the patient's arm if he is unable to do so himself. Pour the povidone iodine or the appropriate cleaning solution into the fluid recess located on the blood culture pack. Drop the needle and syringe onto the sterile field. Flip the plastic top off the culture bottle, being careful not to touch the injection port. Apply the tourniquet and select a suitable vein. Before re-washing your hands, open your sterile gloves onto the sterile field. You are now ready to wash your hands with soap and water and read the germ. Before washing your hands with soap and water, remove jewellery, watches and roll up your sleeves. Wash your hands with soap and water. Dry your hands well and de-germ your hands with disinfectant. the sterile gloves using aseptic technique. Keep in mind that once the first glove is on, it is now sterile and you may use it with the other glove touching all surfaces. You are now ready to clean the puncture site. Using the first swab, clean from inside to outside in a circular format. With the second swab, Clean the top of the culture bottle with the povidine or appropriate cleaning solution. Allow one to two minutes for the disinfectant to dry and do not repalpate the skin or vein. Place the green sterile cover with the opening over the site for the blood culture. Make sure that when you apply 
the sheet that you do not make contact with the skin. into the pre-selected vein and collect a minimum of 10 mils of blood. This is in adults. If using the vacutainer system, the blood culture must be the first specimen to be collected. Once you have collected your blood, make sure that you hold the needle and syringe in position Release the tourniquet. And upon removing the needle, place a swab over the injection site and apply pressure. Take the blood culture and inoculate the blood immediately into the blood culture bottle. Do not change the needle between sample collection and inoculation. If blood has been drawn for other tests, Always inoculate the blood culture bottle first. At this stage, immediately recap the needle using a safe procedure or take the needle straight to the sharp spin and dispose of it safely. Gently rotate the blood culture bottle to mix the blood and culture medium. Do not shake this vigorously. You will now label the blood culture bottle. Label the blood culture bottle, making sure not to remove the tear of label on the bottle. Make sure that the patient labels do not cover the blood culture bottle barcode label and are not stuck across the bottom of the blood culture bottle. Complete the laboratory request form, including the site, date, and time of collection. Full clinical information regarding the suspected diagnosis and contact details for the clinician responsible for the patient. Deliver the blood culture bottle to the laboratory as soon as possible. Do not refrigerate the bottle, rather keep it at room temperature. When using a bulldog to do a blood culture, be reminded that the bulldog is not sterile. You are required to clean the entire bulldog and make sure it is disinfected and then dropped onto the sterile field. Insert the needle into the vein. And place the blood culture bottle into the bulldog. Make sure that your blood culture is taken initially prior to any other cultures being taken or any other bloods. Once you have performed the procedure, remove your gloves appropriately.